would you be so kind as to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Ash, uh, CTO of Zoe Wave, and uh, we do wearable and uh, uh, yeah, wearable products. Wonderful. So, why have wearables not taken off? I think that it's a very complex field, and there's a lot of. Sorry, I can edit. So why have wearable technologies not taken off? I think that it's a very complex field, and there's a lot of moving parts. And it's hard to say that it hasn't taken off because there are some successes, but a lot of failures. And when you look around a lot of the companies, there was a lot of experimentation and a lot of hype and a lot of hope. And they didn't really think through all of the moving parts when they brought the products out. They learned a lot, and I think that we'll see the fruits of what they're doing uh, in the future. There has to be more thought given to the fashion side of things and the consumer side of things. Apple is actually doing amazingly well. They're selling, they're selling lots of uh, watches and I'm sure they're gonna come out with a lot more wearable devices and because they understand the consumer side and they understand the tech side they're gonna do well and a lot of companies out there maybe they understand the consumer side maybe they understand the tech side but they because they don't have the the full depth and breadth of what it takes to sell a wearable and they don't know how to market it and they don't even know how to get their message right uh, I think it's causing a lot of difficulty in the market for both the consumers and for the producers. So your five five top tips for what we need to do to fix the problem. Okay, so number one, I would definitely say if you are a technology company, look for a consumer company to work with, get some synergy there. Two, look for a field that you're already good at and start working toward that instead of just jumping in and thinking everyone's going to come out go out and buy your product. Three, also it's going to be difficult. So don't have these high expectations of selling a lot of product really quickly. It's a slow burn where this is not a sprint, it's a marathon. So they really have to think, start thinking long term. I think last is just have faith, right? We all know that Wearables are going to change healthcare. Wearables are going to change fashion. Wearables are going to change fitness. Uh, we know it's going to happen. The timing, we don't know. So, just got to have some faith and keep working through it. So, what about on the fashion side? I heard you've got this new collaboration with the Academy of Arts and that you're going to be doing a program. Will you tell us a little bit about that? And also, if you're on the fashion side and you want to do tech, how are they going to do it? Right. So. What we noticed is there is a huge gap between the kind of products people want and the kind of products that the wearable companies are producing. Uh, so Apple hired the head of Yves Saint Laurent to help them with their fashion, and a lot of tech companies kind of missed the boat. And our idea was to, if we can get from a very early stage when the students are still learning, to get them to understand technology a little better, as they move forward, there won't be such a disconnect between the technology side and the fashion side. So what the fashion, what our hope for the fashion student is, is that they're not, um, they're, they're not encumbered and they're not timidate, intimidated by the technology. So if we get them early enough and we teach them the lingo and kind of make them familiar with the technology, they'll have a greater voice. And with that greater voice, we'll see better designed products and just better products for the user to, to come out. So the whole thing was to just get the fashion students to realize they're also as important as the technology and not be intimidated by the technology and have their voice heard when they're building products. And lastly, moving from wearables to then fashion tech and integrating technology into clothing, is there a future in that? I just gave a talk on, you know, the fundamental issue with how people think about um, where the future is going. And we think linearly and technology moves exponentially. 
So in the, in the short term, we look out and we think it's going to do amazing things. So we overhype it. And then when it doesn't do it, uh, we poo-poo it. But the technology moves exponentially. So as you walk around the conference here, you're just seeing absolutely amazing things people are building. And I really can't tell where the future is going because I, I think linearly. And technology is moving exponentially, which means the batteries are going to disappear, the electronics are going to disappear, healthcare is going to get better, fitness is going to get better, and wearables are really going to change how we how we live in the future. It's basically going to touch every piece of our lives. It's the glue. Yeah. Thank you so much. No problem.